All right, guys. Just uh, got a little drive here, running through some thoughts in my head. You know, just thinking about. You know, people are like, "Oh, dude, you know, your show prep. How's that going? You know, oh, isn't that so hard? All oh, that takes so much dedication. Oh, you can't drink? Oh, shit, dude. How do you do that? You know, uh, I mean, first off, if if you have to." If you have to fucking worry about, you know, not being able to drink for one fucking weekend out of, you know, your whole entire life that you have when you can drink, you might need to reevaluate what the hell's going on in yourself and your life and why you need to drink all that often. Don't get me wrong. I love to drink when I'm in off season, not prepping for a show. I sure as hell wouldn't drink on a show prep. Uh, I don't cheat either, because I don't believe in, you know, it's just like in the bank, if you have so much money, why why the hell are you writing a check for something more than what you have in the bank? That's how I feel, like, if, you, if you're not going to put it all in, then don't even fucking do it. So, so what I'm saying is, is, if that's such a hindrance, and you're like, oh, I can't do a show because I like to drink, I like to do that, you, you may want to, you know, think rethink what's going on with you and also your why and I'm not saying you need to not drink and I love going out and having fun but you can also have fun without drinking or drugs or anything like that Um, but you know the reason you're not doing a show is because of that you may that might be your first a uh, little fact that hey maybe I need to reevaluate my needs for substance but this isn't a lecture I I mean I'm by far not the the freaking you know messiah or the 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 good guy that's never done anything in his life because we've all done things we all make mistakes that's how we learn that's how we grow that's how, how you continue to get better so I'm not sitting here on my soapbox saying like, hey, you know, if you can't do that, then you got problems. Get them checked out. You know, I'm just saying, you know, that might be something you may think about. But uh, the diet's going well. Four weeks out from the show, feel good. Feel like I'm on time, and uh, you know, things are good. So uh, just got to continue to. You know, keep pushing. A little tired today, but that's that's part of it. But it's all worth it. So anyway, so just had a little thought there. So I thought I'd uh, send this out to somebody else's way. And honestly, for those that do drink and like to enjoy themselves on the weekend, you know, and why they do bodybuilding, don't totally shun away from doing a show because. It, after you get into three weeks of a show diet, you start getting into a mode, and honestly, your body turns into a machine, like, you start doing more cardio, you start processing foods better, you start, you know, everything's in line, I have so much more energy, to be honest, like, I don't even, I don't even have to sleep as much, just because your metabolism is going crazy, and, and honestly, I don't miss drinking, um, and I'd like to drink on the weekend. Uh, mostly Saturday night. I'd give myself a little bit of leisure to have a few drinks with dinner or whatever. And that's, you know, that was my little, my thing. I'd be right back on my diet. You know, it was like my little reward. But what I'm saying is, is that, you know, after I got three weeks into my diet, two weeks in, I was like, you know, it doesn't even freaking matter. What matters is you know, the competition, the show, and do I really want to do this? So you got to search for your why. And if your why is strong enough, you can do anything in anything. It doesn't have to be bodybuilding. It could be your career. It could be anything. So don't sell yourself short. If you think in life, we're just all growing. I mean, myself, I'm actually going through a breakup right now. Um, Just we're give you a gist it's just we're two different places in our life and you know it's sad she's a great girl 
um, it's just we're not in the same places and it's it's sad but you know it's something that uh, that happens and uh, you know wish for the best and everything's gonna be fine but uh, we're civil everything's cool but uh, you know you can't do things for other people just like the bodybuilding don't do bodybuilding and you won't be good at it if you're doing this for other people's attention or if your why is I'm doing this show for that person I'm doing this show for my boyfriend I'm doing uh, I need to get down to this body fat then I'll get girls or any of that shit because that, that shit eventually runs out so you re really need to if you're going to pursue bodybuilding and a show and things like that you really need to focus on why am I doing this is it about a trophy or recognition like that you can go tell people like hey I do bodybuilding and the reason I and I'm really good at it because I got this trophy if that's what you're betting on to do this show then you're not bodybuilding is not for you it's not going to last it's it's all about the journey if, if if you enjoy the journey enjoy the changes every day and that keeps you coming back then you're a bodybuilder because you're going to do that regardless if uh someone at work says oh you're freaking eating again or oh don't you ever want some pizza or don't you want to change like if you can't look past that shit or you worry about so much about what everybody thinks uh then you know it's probably not for you and it's not for everybody it really isn't it's not the easiest i think it's the hardest thing i've done mixed martial arts um, i'm not saying like there are two different realms but the constant irritation and what i like to call being uncomfortable all the time when you're on a show diet is different than going in and you know being doing a, a Muay Thai session or Jiu Jitsu session and sweating your ass off and you know all that shit so it's different realms and I'm not saying either is harder than the other in a way I'm saying that I think bodybuilding is really fucking hard probably the hardest thing I've ever tried in my opinion um, but anyway so uh, the gist of the story is find your why don't do this for anybody else. Don't give a shit what anybody else thinks because you're a bodybuilder. You're the black sheep. You're the guy that walks into the convenience store. Everybody's like, oh, shit. But, you know, our, our sport, we wear, we walk around with our sport on our, on our body, you know. And it's a good thing. You should be fucking proud of who you are, you know. It's not about, you know... If, if I get bigger muscles, they'll like me, or uh, I'll be so different, they'll like me, or I, I get even, it's, it should just be for you. So what is your why? Why are you doing this? Why would you want to do a show if you want to do a show? I mean, there's a lot of guys now that don't even do shows anymore, and they're freaking Rich Piana. Look at him. Freaking, uh... Uh, is probably the most successful guy in the industry right now and he hasn't stepped on a stage in years and I'm a huge fucking fan like this dude's awesome you know uh, another guy I've actually had to, uh, to talk to personally and interview personally on the channel Jerry Ward this guy's through his competitive years he you know I don't, I don't know if he'd ever been sponsored he's he was well known in the industry things like that but i mean now like look at him he's on love it kill it or, or five percent nutrition i should say uh it didn't hurt uh had a shoulder injury doesn't compete anymore although he just did recently a men's physique so but he's not he's not a huge bodybuilder anymore but it's it, the dude loves to train so at the end of the day it's all about your why so find your why pursue it bodybuilding or not 
and continue pushing forward and don't listen to anybody. There's naysayers and everything. And just take their... Just just brush that shit off. All right? AC Muscle. Check out my Instagram. Uh, AC underscore muscle. You can hit me up at uh, teamacmuscle uh, at gmail.com. Any questions or comments. Uh, also, if you need some help with some training or dieting, just let me know. But anyway, that's it. I'm out.